Hey guys, good morning. I hope you all are having a wonderful day so far. I am just glad to see another day and uh, just want to get on here very quickly guys and talk with you guys about something that the Lord has placed in my heart and first and foremost I want to thank you guys those of you who have been subscribers with me have been subscribed to my channel for some time as well as those of you who are new subscribers I truly appreciate you all feel free to browse around navigate on the channel you can hit if you're in my channel then you can actually go into the playlist on my channel and you'll see some videos that I do have categorized there that way, if you're looking for something specific, let's say about forgiveness, let's say about being single, toxic leadership, toxic family, all those things I do have there. So feel free to navigate under the playlist as well as just enjoying the videos as they are uploaded. So guys, the message that I have that I want to share with you is it's your turn. It's your turn. That's what I'm going to entitle this. It is your turn. And what, what I mean by that is simply just what I said. It's your turn. For a very long time, you've been in the background. Many of you, there's a, this message is not for everybody, okay? But those of you that hear this message, you're going to understand and you're going to know. Because a lot of time, God deals with you in things. The message that you hear from me, it's not new. It's normally, it normally going to confirm what God has already been speaking to your heart. But it is your turn. It is time to get out from the background. There's a work to be done. There are things to be done. And a lot of you are in the background and you're fearful. You have been the stunt double for a long time. And if you know anything about movies, some of these action movies, the stunt double is the one that's going through the fire, taking all the risks, probably even breaking bones, while the star of the show sits there out. And the star of the show is going to get all the credit and look awesome and look great. But the stunt double is in the background. It's time for you to stop being the crash test dummy. And you know the job of a crash, crash test dummy in, in its function as far as testing out vehicles for safety and functionality. It's time for you to stop being the ghost rider. You're in the background. You're, you're, you're doing all these things. You're hidden. And some of you, you're comfortable doing that. But God is saying, it's time for you to come forward. There are things that I've placed within you. And it's time for you to do it. And some of you, you're just around people and individuals that's keeping you, keeping you like under their thumb. When you want to branch out and you want to do things, they will talk you out of it. They will counter your vision and the things that you want to do the things that God has placed in your heart and you spend so much time sitting on the bench just sitting that now that the opportunity may come you're afraid of it because you believe oh I can't do it. it's been so long I'm rusty but the Word of God tells us that it's not by our might nor by our power but it's by the Spirit of God so if you believe God in what he tells you to do and you step out he's gonna do the rest I'm trying to tell you any star athlete, any athlete, any, any, the best athlete you can see and, or you know of right now, if they were not practicing and if they were not honing in on their skills and challenging themselves and getting out there, they would not be the athletes that they are. musicians singers the same thing if they don't sing if they don't practice if they don't practice their vocals if they're not practicing their ranges if they're not challenging themselves if they're not taking care of their voice and they're just not singing they're not going to be able to hit those high notes right away so the same thing if you've been sitting for a long time on your gifts and on your talents if you've just been sitting on the things that God has placed in you, yes, it's going to get rusty. And because you've been sitting for so long and, and in the background for so long and and being, you know, whatever you've been doing, behind the scenes, cleanup crew, whatever it is, and I'm not knocking anyone who does who does these things. There's nothing wrong with that. But 
There are times God is trying to call you out to do more and people are just afraid. It's one thing you're doing these things because that's what God's called you to do. And you, this is your time. This is where you need to be at this moment. But some of you, you're hiding behind the scenes because you don't want the responsibility. That's one. You don't want to do it. This is just easier. It's easy for me just to help out and to do some things. But Lord, I don't want to be in the front. And then there are some of you that you really want to do what God is telling you to do. But you've been told, no, it's not your time. You've been ridiculed, some of you. You've been, you know, talked down to. Are you serious? God is not going to call you to do that. You're not qualified. You haven't been to school. You haven't been here. You haven't been there. Look at your life. Look at your past. But God is saying, it's your turn. It's sort of like when, you know, you have people, you, when you were a kid, sometimes you may have done it or you've been around that, that friend, they have the ball. You go to their house or they bring the ball to the game or whatever, but it's like they want to hog the ball. They want to call all the shots because it's their ball. And if everybody's not playing the way they want them to play, they're going to get mad. They're going to take the ball and they're going to go home or whatever it is. Or you find yourself, you have to play by their rules the entire time with them being center stage. And there are lots of people who are in ministry, who are in certain, even in business and things of that nature. They want to be center stage. It's all about them. They want a supporting cast. They want people there to do the, you know, quote unquote, lighting. So they can shine more. And it's really not about wanting to shine. It's not wanting to be center stage, guys. But it's your turn. God is saying, I place some things inside of you. I place gifts and talents and abilities in you. Some of you, it's time to write your books. Some of you, it's time for you to, to open up that business I've been telling you to open up. Some of you, God is saying it's time for you to branch out on missions and in ministry and to be speaking my word and to be doing the things that I've told you to do. But sometimes you're in churches and you're in places where it's like they're not giving you the freedom to do it. And, you know, that's not going to be an excuse. You're not going to be able to stand before God and say, oh, they wouldn't let me. No, you allow them to do that. Some of you, it's time for you to get out these churches, some of these ministries that you're in. Where you're not growing, where they are dictating, yes, dictating to you what you can do and how far you can go. And a lot of times they're stepping on your coattail and they're telling you no and they're sitting you down in these little places. You know, I was just talking to a sister of mine and I, I was saying sometimes they want to keep you, you have so, they want to keep you in this little pot and it's like a plant and it's placed in a pot. And there are all these roots. Your roots are just bunched up. It can't go anywhere because you're in the small pot. And you know, there are plants that you can keep it in a pot for a while. But after a while, you've got to repot it. you got to take it out and put it in a bigger pot or even put it outside in a bigger space, depending on what it is. But there are people, they want to keep you in that tiny pot and tell you this is all you can do. And this is all you're ever going to do. And God is saying, not so. I've called you to reach nations. I've called I've called you to reach to meet to to reach thousands. I've called you to stand before kings. I've called you to go beyond the borders of 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 these limitations that people are trying to place on you. It is not by your might, it is not by your power. It is by the spirit of God. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world than he that them that's in the church, those that are in your community, those that are in your family, those who are in in your neighborhood that's trying to tell you you can't do this. God is saying it is your turn. It is your turn to come to the front. It is your turn to come to the forefront. It is your turn. I've called you to do a specific work. It's time to answer the call.